Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Neville and welcome to Selective Imagery. I started taking pictures when I was seven or eight years old and I really shoot just about everything. And here's some samples of what I take, whether it be sunrises, alligators, birds, birds, birds. It's what I do a lot of right now. But I also do macro. I'll do small animals and I'll do street photography and I'll use my old cameras to take some black and white photos with. So here's a sample of uh, one of my cameras coming up. So I'm a generalist but right now I'm focused a lot on wildlife and birds in particular. So I hope you enjoy my channel and let's get right to the show. Hello and welcome to Close Ups Plus Birds. We're going to start off in Brook Green Gardens showing you some flower images that I took with the Z9 and predominantly the 24 to 120 f4 lens and there might be a few in here that I took with the 500 pf because I had that with me as well and I'll tell you there's nothing really more relaxing than to walk through an area that has sculptures and flowers. Uh, it's really, really relaxing. Um, I love uh, water lilies, so you're going to see a lot of images of water lilies, like this one here, followed by another one. You can see the bee that's in there in the middle. And to me, the, the two most relaxing places, like I said, are garden areas and walking or sitting on the beach just listening to the waves come in. Wildlife photography is very exciting. It's very demanding. You, you know, you're working hard to get those images of creatures that move and they're flying very fast or uh, that you may have to look for and work hard to find an image. Um, close up and macro photography it's not, not minimizing that it's difficult or not because it can be very difficult because you're dealing with lighting situations that are hard. But your subject's always there. And of course, if you have a real windy day, then it's almost like not worth going unless you can find areas where the plants have larger trees around them so they're not blowing around, but then you're dealing with lack of light. Um, these gourds that were hanging down uh, from this structure were really, really interesting, and they got lights that light up at night. The grasshoppers love it there. Uh, they're having a good time, as they say. And, and this is just a view through the live oak area, and when they have Night of a Thousand Candles in the wintertime, when they have this all lit up, it is phenomenal. And this last shot within Brook Green is when I was sitting having lunch with my friend Bob from Bob Our Photos, and this titmouse is sitting there on a plant. So now we're going to move on to Huntington Beach State Park, which is literally a stone throw away from Brook Green Gardens. And, you know, the first image was wood storks, early morning light. Here's a gator eating a blue crab. You have that pink tone in the white excuse me, in the uh, water. And here you have a female red-winged blackbird, and I love the vines going up that uh, the grasses there. A few uh, shots of birds in flight, uh, such as this wood stork with uh, some friends in the background. Uh, this is a young wood stork. It doesn't have that hammered metal look on the head yet. It still has hair. And here we have a snowy egret with its reflection in the water. We move on to an osprey. There are about four, I'd say, um, young ospreys from this year's uh, birth cycle that are hanging around lately. Uh, snowy egret in flight. Here's one of the gulls that's um, trying to zoom in on some food sources, and these are probably small fish that are jumping around due, unfortunately, to lack of oxygen. We still have the fish kill scenario going on or the after effects from it. 
here you can see a few small fish underneath that bird um, this is the um, laughing gull in flight and a great egret in flight so we'll have a few in-flight photos here So this is the tricolored heron. And then we have the gray egret once again, followed by another wood stork image coming up. Now here's where things get nasty, where you start seeing what continues to go on in the park. These are wood storks in the very early morning. This is before 7 a.m. in the morning. And they're basically lifting up dead uh, fish from the bottom of the water that have not bloated quite enough yet to be floating on the top. But it was not pleasant to watch them eat these fish. I mean, it was like, like they were made out of jello. They, the, fish, the fish were just rotted out. Uh, here's two fighting over the same fish, pulling it apart, what's left of it. Here's a wood stork that catches a small fish that didn't move a lot once it got it, but at least was not rotting away. Um, this shot I like, it's kind of a very surreal shot with the grasses around it shooting through the grasses and the, and the weeds. And once again, here's the, here's the result of the fish kill. So to me, they're you know, disturbing images. You know, two years in a row, as I mentioned. Here's a tricolor with a snowy. You know, here, here's another fish being eaten by a wood stork and the body is literally just falling apart uh, without any effort from the stork whatsoever. And then closer to the bank uh, in the water is an ibis walking around. Very few of these birds will eat fish that are decomposing like that. The wood storks uh, do it a lot. I like this one where uh, where the bird is just taking off from the embankment. And here's a gray egret. Um, looks like it's preparing to maybe land on the branch of that tree. And this I love. Um, a few images here of the great American bald eagle. And had to, to walk around and get to an area where the light was in my favor to get these images because from the causeway it was backlit and you were going to get nothing but a dark bird. So let's just say you had to move with your legs and do a little bit of work to potentially get the images I just showed you. Here's a tricolored heron. Unfortunately, you can see there's a dead fish near it. Here's another one being, you can see just the chunks of it falling apart as it's in the bills of this wood stork. And here's a uh, little green heron looking up like it sees something that worries it. And maybe it's this that it sees. Because an osprey was in the area, pretty much right, right close to that bird. I do like taking uh, group sessions when I can and these are all with the 800 PF these these birds are pretty far away uh, here's an ibis that's in a tree perched in a tree here's an ibis that got a fiddler crab and once again you see a dead fish uh, at its you know near its legs and then this is over on the straight road which runs between Mullet Pond and Mallard Pond and uh, a couple birds in a tree. I like this one because I like that little hole in the curl of the head that you could see through. And because of everything going on, 
you have black vultures flying around like crazy. This one decided to perch close enough to me and I don't usually like pictures of vultures, but they're around because of this scenario here. And this is where a lot of the fish gathered uh, in a certain part of the pond. And the great blues usually won't eat fish like that, but we did see a few of them, maybe desperate for food, I don't know, that decided to eat them, let's just say a little bit, although I don't think they were very happy about it. And then here's a picture of a blue crab. And unfortunately, this crab doesn't have any signs of being bitten by anything like an alligator. It's dead. It's floating in the water, probably from oxygen deprivation. And we saw several. This dead fish is leaning against a rock. Another one here floating in the reeds. Just not very comforting, that's for sure. But let's, let's end this with a couple more pleasant pictures. Uh, another shot of the eagle, followed by a shot of one of the uh, water lilies with a bee in it. And I like this image because it gives you the appearance that the center of the flower is trying to eat the bee. I mean, that's just how it looks. Looks like something out of a horror movie. Uh, but obviously the bee is just getting pollen. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Give me a like. Leave me a comment. And as I say, enjoy life. Capture some of it.